The MTA's plan to widen parts of the Belt Parkway is drawing criticism as Mayor de Blasio pushes for congestion pricing. CBS 2's Ali Bauman live now in Bath Beach, Brooklyn, with more on this. Ali. Chris Eden Dick, Mayor de Blasio, says the city's recovery depends on commuters getting back to mass transit. But while City Hall is trying to deter people from driving, transit advocates argue the MTA's plan to add a lane of traffic to the Belt Parkway here would only attract more cars to the road. Traffic is no treat on the Belt Parkway. The traffic business over here is horrible. One trouble spot is where two lanes coming off the Verrazano Bridge merge into the parkway's three lanes. There is a tremendous bottleneck there really every day. It's a quick merge when you're coming off the bridge. Uh, which causes uh, delays. The MTA's Bridges and Tunnels president tells me the transit agency plans to add a fourth lane here for a two mile stretch in order to relieve congestion. Construction is expected to start by 2023 and cost up to $30 million. Whatever they do, it's going to be a, an improvement. But not all drivers or bikers are convinced widening the road would help at all. It won't help. No one wants to suffer with the traffic, with the work for the year. Whatever it takes. Now there's another lane, more people, it'll open up, and then the traffic will still just build up anyway. You don't want more congestion. Transit advocates are accusing the MTA of misplaced priorities. When you make it easier for people to drive, then more people will drive. Even though the plan was proposed pre pandemic, now Mayor de Blasio is pushing to implement congestion pricing, which was delayed due to COVID. And to show his urgency, Thursday the mayor nominated City Finance Commissioner Sharif Solomon to serve on the Traffic Mobility Review Board. We've got to get people out of the cars. Again, the solution get people back to mass transit, make mass transit better. Is this just encouraging drivers to not go on public transportation to drive instead? No, I, I don't think so at all. If people know that they're safe and they're taking their vehicles, um, you know, Bridges and Tunnel supports mass transit with the revenue we collect from our tolls. So, uh, you know, we're using that, that toll money to correct any situation to make sure people are as safe as possible. MTA Bridges and Tunnels president also said he believes the expansion would help relieve traffic on local roads and the Verrazano Bridge itself. If the road work goes as planned, it should take about two years to complete. We're live in Bath Beach, Brooklyn. Allie Bauman, CBS 2 News. All right, Allie, thanks very much.